Good morning. Welcome back to Living Life Larry. Now today, we are at the Ohio State Reformatory, otherwise known as the Shawshank Prison. A lot of movies have been filmed here, most notably the Shawshank Redemption, uh, starring Morgan Freeman and Tim, Tim Robbins. Uh, we're doing a day tour today. I don't know what access we have, but we're going to see what interesting things we can see in here. Uh, try to give you a little info, maybe some filming sites. Uh, also, Tango Cash filmed here, Air Force One, uh, some other Sylvester Stallone movies. He, he really likes coming back here. As you can see from the architecture and everything, really a uh, good place to film movies. That's like the largest standing still cell block in the world. Uh, also, very well known as possibly the most haunted prison in the United States, if not the world. So, I mean, it's a very well known prison, and today I'm taking you inside there. So, uh, enjoy the video, and if you like it, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I come up with any new videos. And this is just a teaser. But I'm coming back and I'm doing the whole Shawshank Trail with a bonus friend that was actually in the movie. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you. And let's go into prison. Okay, this was the actual electric chair used in 315 executions. Not here, but in Columbus. No executions were actually carried out here. here even the Shawshank warden is wearing a mask because of the COVID okay walking up the second floor steps and you get greeted by this gentleman not a very nice guy if you ever watched the movie right into the office of prison supervisor Samuel Norton warden there's his desk. Okay, leaving the warden's office area. Look who you run into. <laughs> so we'll follow this around. And what you notice being here that you don't notice in the movie is really how bad a shape this place is in. And look at the walls. Peeling. The ceiling. Looks like they're doing some electrical work. Okay, in this area, this is where the family bedrooms are, sitting room. But uh, it's another place that they say is really haunted. They say this area, they see a woman, an apparition of a woman. They hear footsteps, a voice saying, I'm not dead. Doors open and close. And again, the smell of perfume and cigar smoke. Many people have reported that. In this area up here, you have the family bedrooms where the warden's family would live. Again, in real bad need of repair. But you can't really tell from anything in the movie how it really is. Closet. Built-in dressers. In this area up here, you have the family bedrooms. Where the warden's family would live.
again. And real bad need a repair. Closet. Building dressers. Okay, still up on the third floor. This is where it said the guest have seen the ghost of a little boy running around. Which no one understands because there was never a little boy on record as dying here. Along with the little boy, it's also said they see other shadow figures walking and disappearing up here. Okay, walking into this room. Another one that dignitaries would stay in. Governors or who else would come here. Need overnight accommodations. Closet. But here you can see some of the architecture to the inside. The round wall in here. And fireplace. Okay, as we walk down this area, again, you can see how bad a shape this is in. But this is supposedly a very haunted area, the prison. They say about a shadow man, about six foot tall shadow, they see and he disappears. They also tell of smelling cigar smoke in here. They think it might be maybe the former warden that was here or other people that inhabited here. But again, many people have said they've seen and smelt things in this area. Sorry, I'm so muffled. I do have to wear a mask here the whole time. Really bad shape. Looks like they're doing some electrical work. Okay, you've probably seen this in the movie where Red came to meet with the parole board. Red being Morgan Freeman. And in this room, you have a classroom. The inmates actually had an opportunity to learn some trades while they was here. Okay, I was wrong earlier. <laughs> this is said to be the most active area in an administrative building for the paranormal. From what they say, they see many shadow figures, hear voices saying, get me out. It said that one visitor here was physically attacked by an entity and had the bruises to show it. see some paranormal activity in here. <laughs> How cool would that be? Ooh, I'm in a dark prison. Actually, I don't think this area is supposed to be open. I think somebody moved the barrier. Like I said, maybe I'll see something. Hear something. Ooh, I'm scared. I have another stage over here. This is actually a totally different area. Huh. Very yeah, very similar. But I think I'll get out of here. Because like I said, I don't think this is supposed to be open. But other people can. Okay, as we walk in here. 
you get to something you might recognize. It's Brooks Room. Although they use the exterior of a building in downtown Mansfield, the actual room they filmed was right here inside the prison. And here you see the famous words. Brooks was here and so was Red. And here we are in the prison chapel. Another area that paranormal activity has been recorded, reported. I say shadows walking through here. Recently a woman sitting in a pew crying. Okay. Looks like this is where it gets interesting, really interesting. Looks like we're going to finally enter the cell block area. Oh yeah, here we are. <laughs> Sixth tier. South. It's just amazing how big this prison is. There's a cell. <laughs> really dark in there. It's really dark in there, but just the size of this prison is amazing. And I said this goes up six tiers, and there's a north and south, and you also have an east and west. Just, just really humongous. The cell they actually have lit up. No toilet. Still got the sink. And the double bed. <laughs> I sure hope they got along if they were in here together. Here we go. Still walking down the cell block. Fourth tier, I think. And here we come to a cell. Interesting cell. Uh, James Lockhart serving 1 to 15 years for assault February 6, 1960 he set himself on fire in a cell with lighter fluid and a match he was 22 cell number 13 fourth tier Thank And here we are to the shower washroom. <laughs> yeah. You've seen this in the movie. <laughs> Won't do a whole lot here.
prison library. Not the library used in the Shawshank Redemption, but the actual prison library. Uh, no books here. <laughs> Information. Rather large size. legal services <laughs> I had your prison lawyers here <laughs> circulation <laughs> the old restroom from the library <laughs> Such good shape. <laughs> Again, <laughs> these doors you see here. How they could get their meals through. I guess inmates stayed in these cells 23 hours a day once they converted over to a maximum security. 23 hours a day in one of these. And come in here, we have the tunnel that Andy crawled through in the movie. And through it. Only 18 feet long. Supposedly 500 yards. Filled with sawdust, chocolate syrup, and water. Not actual sewage. <laughs> There's a cone that they shot pictures through to film through to make it appear longer. more of the tunnel <laughs> it's actually in the prison you can see there Here's another prop, <clears throat> another prop from the escape scene. Again, entering solitary confinement. Another area that they say is one of the most haunted in the prison. A 
Oh yeah, I bet that's scary down there. But they say you see dark figures, hear voices, get poked and prodded. <laughs> Rather gloomy down here. That's a shower. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> the hole locked in here. Oh, just a little bed on the floor. <laughs> I can see how you could go crazy in here. Oh, I imagine some might have found it relaxing. I don't know how. Let me get some pictures of this. There's a flash. Let you can turn on a flashlight for me. In here, so they can see a little bit better what it looks like in here. Is that just a bed on the floor, a stool, a sink, and a toilet? Almost like shower walls. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, they might have came in here and just hosed them down. I don't know. <laughs> oh, apparently this might be the cell from the movie. And he came and visited Andy. And I'm gonna go in here. Let me see. <laughs> that window's there. Or was it here? <laughs> Probably this one, because there's the wall. Still in solitary confinement here. This was a cell that was used in a movie, briefly, in solitary confinement. From this point of view, whenever they showed looking out, from the prisoner point of view, inmate point of view looking out, this was a cell that was used. So dark and creepy here during the day. <laughs> Ooh, I can't imagine even coming here at night. No, actually, I would like to spend the night here. <laughs> See if I can actually find any phenomenon, paranormal kind. Apparently, this prison must have had a lot of bad people because <laughs> there's a lot of solitary confinement cells. This one don't even have a door. <laughs> All right, I'm in the west cell block now. Not quite as big as the east. And as you can see, not still. These are, you know, brick. Not sure why, but this one is chained off. It's the only one here that's chained off. I don't know if there's a story behind this or what. Here we can go on this one. Actually, it looks a little bigger than on the east block. Wider, anyways. The west cell block. And again, another area they say a lot of paranormal activity. They say in the early morning hours, you can hear inmates often talking to each other, dark shadowy figures, footsteps. And 
like I said, really eerie place, even during the day. Different setup than the east cell block that you've seen earlier that was used in the Shawshank. A lot of hangers in here. <laughs> Here we are in the central guard room. Look, it's red. Looks like they use it kind of for a banquet hall now. Get a view over into the east cell block. Oh, look here. <laughs> Look, it's Andy. And still in the central guard room. But uh, this area here was also used as the mess hall in the Shawshank. And red plain ball. And here we are concluding our tour. This is part of the museum. Warden's dining room. And here's the butler's pantry. But this room is much better kept than the rest of the area. Beautiful clock. <laughs> okay, well this concludes my tour of the Shawshank Prison, Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio. I said, weird times, hard talking in here, wearing a mask, which is required. But again, beautiful place. Architecture is something else. Falling apart on the inside. They're doing their best to take care of it. But uh, like I said, we'll return here. Maybe see a little bit more from the movie at another time. But uh, thanks for watching. Libby Mike Larry. And again, like, subscribe. Click on the bell to get notifications. And I'll see you next video.